Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Before I jump into this video, I quickly wanted to let you know that every pre-order of my Inktober 2019 booklet will now come with an exclusive sticker that you can see here. I won't be selling this one individually from the booklet at any point, it will be exclusive for Inktober booklet pre-orders. I've bought myself some vinyl paper, I'm making my own stickers, it's all very exciting and I decided to <laughs> add those stickers to the pre-orders. Um, and on top of that you get a 5x5 five five print of day 2 with your booklet also. These are all just exclusive to pre-order by the way, these are not things that you can get separately from the booklet pre-orders, nor will these items be included in any orders of the booklets once the pre-orders are closed and the booklet is just available on my shop as a regular listing. Oh and something else I forgot to say in my previous video, my Inktober 2019 booklet pre-orders will close on the 18th of November and after that the listing will just become a normal listing, so if you're interested in having either the sticker or the print um, you still have about a week to order a booklet if you'd like one. And I think that's all the things I forgot to say in my previous video, <laughs> so now let's move on to what I'm actually doing on the screen right now. This video is going to have seven Inktober drawings in it and it's also going to be my last Inktober time-lapse video. My next video will be my final Inktober video and it will be a sketchbook tour of sorts, you know, where I show you all my Inktober 2019 drawings and in it I'll reveal the last, I think it's eight drawings that I haven't shown you yet. So if you're interested in seeing those you can either follow me on Instagram or you can wait for that video and that will be sometime next week. In the meantime, here's drawing 16, um, Overflow. This was an idea that is reminiscent of a few drawings I've done because I've been exploring this idea of like something liquid in the head being poured into someone else or something else or something weird along those lines and I just can't find a composition that I like or a way of drawing it that I'm, I'm clicking with yet. Um, it's a concept I've had for years, <laughs> I think my first sketch of it was like three or four years ago and I just can't find something that feels quite right yet so I'm gonna keep drawing different versions of this idea and see where it takes me which is pretty much what I do um, quite often to find a final composition that I like. I do this thing that I'm trying to train myself out of where if I have a particular idea, a particular concept in mind but I'm not entirely sure what compositions I want for it, I'll just think it out and I'll just stare blankly into nothingness for hours on end just trying to think of something that clicks for me as far as composition goes. And for some reason, I think that that is going to be enough for me to come up with the final composition, the final way to draw it that is just going to click with me and is going to make me satisfied with the piece. But it never is. I don't know why I'm not. I don't learn from myself. I know. I know that if I start sketching it out and if I just pull pen to paper and just draw loads of different options out, I'll find the result I want much quicker than if I just think about it. And I mean, thinking is, is all well and good, I do it tons and that's how I come up with most of my ideas, but I find that for some reason sketching just allows my brain to relax a little bit and when my brain is not as tense and not trying so actively to find ideas, it does tend to kind of just go with the flow and come up with a lot more concepts that I like than if I was trying to force myself to come up with an idea. So I think it's a little bit along the same line as when you're finally lying in bed <laughs> and that's when all your ideas come to you and you're like, oh, crying out loud, I was about to fall asleep, I don't want to get up and have to write it down, I'll remember it tomorrow and then you wake up the next day and you know you had an idea you liked but what it was completely escapes you. When you're going to bed and you're trying to relax to sleep, obviously you're not actively trying to find ideas so your brain is a lot more relaxed and is a lot more, lot more open to all the things it has learned and seen and been inspired by and you don't have to kind of put it under pressure to find an idea so that's usually why you come up with better ideas once <laughs> you're lying in your bed but you don't have the energy to actually <laughs> jot them down which happens to me absolutely all the time. But I think it's a little bit the same when you're sketching as opposed to actively trying to come up with ideas. When you're sketching your brain is focusing on something different, on something a little, more, a little bit more loose, a little bit more relaxed and so it allows your brain to kind of fully um, fully reconnect with all the things that you that may have inspired you that you can't remember when you're actively thinking about it but kind of just need it to be uh, gently pried out of your memory. Anyway, my point being that I need to get away from my habit of thinking that just thinking about an idea is going to be enough for me to finalise it. Um, I need to be able to pull pen to paper sooner and just iterate, basically. 
Um, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I went into a bit of a tangent here. Stop talking about the drawings. I'm sorry. I hope that, you know, if you have any questions about particular drawings, obviously feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. It's difficult for me to talk about my drawings once they are done. They obviously have a meaning for me. I can analyze them and understand what I meant with them when I drew them, but it's difficult for me to actually explain it. I know quite a few people would like me to be able to explain my artworks, but sometimes I just don't want to because I want my pieces to be very open to people's interpretation. I like that my artwork can be seen a lot of different ways, almost as many different ways as people will see them. So I, I don't really want to influence that on people. I don't want people to think that there's only one way of seeing my pieces and that maybe the way they feel about it might not be the way I intended for them to feel about it. But that's not true. I don't intend on people feeling a certain way when they, saw, when they see my pieces. I just intend on you kind of projecting whatever you want on them. It's completely, it's a sort of blank canvas in a way um, that I'm just creating for you to see as you wish. Although I am thinking of maybe starting to explain my pieces a little more in depth, maybe on Patreon. Um, not particularly because I, I want to like push anyone to be a patron, but just because I'm still a little bit uncomfortable explaining my work, so maybe if I use Patreon as a transition place for me to um, describe my work, get a feeler out there, see how people react to me explaining my work in depth, and then um, if my patrons are open to it, maybe I'll try to do it more often on Instagram or on YouTube, but I might try it out on Patreon first. Because honestly, if I get into starting to explain what a concept means to me, it's just going to be endless, I'm just going to be able to talk about it for forever. <laughs> because I don't go into a drawing with a specific idea of what I want to represent ever, like generally I just draw something because I think it's going to be really interesting to draw and because it kind of means something to me, even though I'm not entirely sure what it means, it just excites me to draw it, so I'm just going to draw it. But then once I look at it, once I've finished it, that's when I actually managed to figure out why I was particularly drawn to that imagery, why I particularly wanted to draw that particular thing. And once I start analysing a piece, I can just go forever, it just wakes up more and more things. And I can basically think of endless symbolism and personal history to a particular image. Anyway, that's me kind of done rambling for this video, <laughs> as usual. Pretty typical voiceover for me, I think. <laughs> no direction, just talking at you. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the drawings in this video. They were a mix of um, days where I felt really inspired and days where I kind of latched on an idea and I had for for a long time or some of them were very spontaneous. The one with uh, the butterfly coming out of the person is actually an idea that my boyfriend had, although I don't think he had exactly that concept <laughs> in mind, but it was, it was courtesy of him, that idea. And uh, yeah, I hope that you are all really well. I'll see you very soon for my Inktober sketchbook tour. Take really good care of yourself guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye everyone.